Hey guys, it's Mr. Decker once again. We are looking at Lesson 17, Conditionals in Minecraft Voyage Aquatic. This is from the updated 2023 Code.org Express unit, and we are plugging right along, moving right along. Make sure you're watching these videos. The ones for the Minecraft uh, lessons are probably the most entertaining, at least for me. They use a lot of the YouTubers that do Minecraft and it's just fun. Let's let's go with Steve. Let's go on an adventure with Steve. All right. Let's see. Did it not start me over? Okay. Anyway. You need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect a boat from the chest. We're just going to assume there's a boat in that chest. It looks like you could climb this and get into the top of the tree. But anyway, I'm distracted. Let's move forward twice. One, two, and get to that chest. Most excellent, sir. All right. Now we have a boat. Let's use it to get out of here, shall we? All right, so first thing we need to move forward to this square. And we're going to turn right. That's going to face this direction. And then we need to move forward twice to get to the boat. Get Steve to the boat so we can get off this little island. All right. Get in the boat, Steve. All right. Let's see. Okay, now we got to make it up to this fish up here. And goodness. All right. So to get there, we need to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Let's run that. It would have been nice to have a repeat loop there. There we go. Let's continue. That puts us on bubble five. Make sure you watch this video. They're always entertaining. Make sure you're watching them. All right. Uh, start over. Okay. So this time we have a repeat and it's a repeat until goal. So it's going to go until I get to the dolphin, which is my goal. And then we're just going to park right on top of him, as Steve likes to do. It seems like Steve is a, is a bully to the marine life. I don't know. All right, start over. Okay, this time, uh, this one stumped me for a minute, but I got it eventually. You got to turn right first, right? He's facing this way. You want to get him to this chest. So the first thing you want to do is turn right. He goes forward twice, and then he'll turn right, go forward twice, and then he'll turn right, open the chest, right? I told you so. And there's a little Nautilus shell in there. Collecting all kinds of stuff. All right. Let's see. This time we want to get to the salmon up here. But on the way, we're going to pick up the turtle. So first thing we want to do is repeat three, move forward. That gets us right here. See? And then we're going to repeat six to get to the turtle. And move forward. And we'll run that to make sure that's correct. Oh, whoops, what did I forget to do? I forgot to turn right in between those two repeats. There he goes, and then he's gonna park right on top of the turtle. And then we need to turn left right there. Always make sure you're doing it in the number of blocks that it allots you. Sometimes you can do it in less, and that's pretty cool. All right, uh, and then we'll repeat until goal, move forward. Now I'll park right on top of the salmon. And just like fishing in real life, when you park on top of a fish, you, you just, that's fishing, man. Fish just jumps right into your boat. You move along right on your merry way. Good stuff. All right. Um, we're going to collect the turtle on the way for this one as well. We're going to go all the way to this chest. We're going to go the long way. Steve can hold his breath for a really long time. He's like the world champion at this. He told me once. 
All right, move forward. If path to the right, turn right. And this is the sneaky get the turtle part. If path to the left, turn left. So we've got repeat until the goal, move forward. If path to the right, turn right. If path to the left, turn left. See, that path to the left, he's like, oh, no, i got to go that way. got to get the turtle. And then he continues to swim, continues to hold his breath like a champion. What a legend, that Steve. Absolute legend. And then he gets to the treasure, and it's Prismarine. We're all happy. We're going to move on to the next one. All right. Let's see. So this time we want the turtle again. Whoop. Didn't even mean to do that. So if I double click at it, no, it does not. That That's strange. OK, repeat until goal. We're going to move forward. If path to the right, turn right. I think if I remember right, this one's very similar to the last one where uh, you're just setting it up like this. If if uh, Repeat until goal, move forward. If there's a path to the right, go right. If there's a path to the left, turn left. And I think that gets the turtle and Parksis on top of the fish, the tropical fish. Kind of looks like Nemo, doesn't he? All this time, little did we know that we could have just completely canceled out the whole plot for that movie. We just go get Nemo by parking a boat on top of him. You made it to the reef. Now search for the heart of the sea. Use the blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. All right, so start over. You saw all the code there already. I know. I'm going to repeat and toggle. And we're going to put a bunch of code inside this. If, if blue coral, if red coral, and then one more for when he's standing on the oak planks. And we're going to turn right on blue coral. We know that from this first one up here. Get here, turn right. And then uh, when he's on an oak plank, we want to turn left. And when we're on a red coral, we want to turn left as well, I'm pretty sure. Let's run it. Oh, it helps when you tell Steve to move forward. Yes, it does. It helps a lot. There he is. One there. Turn right again. Now he's going to turn left. Get the turtle. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. World champion. Turn right. And we got that heart of the sea. I don't know what that does for you, the heart of the sea. Some of you Minecrafters out there might know better than me. All right. This time there's a squid hiding somewhere in the ocean up monument. Can you find it? Yes, we can. And we're going to find the turtle as well. So repeat until goal. Our goal is to get to the squid. When we get to a sea lantern, first we're going to move forward. When we get to a sea lantern, we're going to turn right. When we get to blue coral, we're going to turn left. When we get to red coral, we're going to turn right. Run it. And the world champion uh, at holding his breath, Steve, is swimming around here at the bottom of the ocean. Seriously, man. At the bottom of the ocean, your, your head... And the pressure, you just wouldn't make it. You just wouldn't make it. It's just not natural for a, a little Steve guy to be down there just like this, collecting squid and prismarine and all that stuff. All right. Okay. This time, we've got to build a uh, prismarine wall, and that's going to activate the conduit in the middle there. So we're going to repeat until conduit completed. The first thing we need to do is place prismarine and then move forward. And if we're standing on a sea lantern, we're going to turn right. That's basically the gist of that one. And Steve, in all of his in breath holding glory, 
just swims right around this thing, working as he does to build this prismarine wall. Every time he gets to a sea lantern, he turns right, thinks about his life a little bit, contemplates his victory, and there you have it. All right, watch this last video, and then before you continue to bubble 16, I'm not showing you anything here, except apparently we're proud of our conduit. It's still working, still doing the thing. Steve has collected all kinds of fish, a squid, dolphin, a tropical fish, a cod, a salmon. We collected a nautilus shell. We collected a boat. We collected, goodness, turtles all over the place. We, what else did we collect? Um, the prismarine, the, oh man, we're just, we're just totally set as far as all of our uh, aquatic accoutrements. All right. Again, if you want to do bubble six, you want to do all kinds of stuff with it, have fun, have at it. It's all you. I'm proud of you. I'll see you next time.